Welcome to today's show. Now, as you well know, on a Friday, we've got an omnibus of this whole week. So Monday through to Thursday, all the exercises that we've done. Let's see if you can challenge yourself and keep up with all of them. If you can't, do not worry. Remember to take a break. Let's go over to Monday's episode and see what we got up to. Do the exercise to keep fit and to keep my circulation and body in good order. It's fun, it's fun. And I know I'm doing, getting benefit out of it. It lifts your mood, it makes you laugh. I always go out feeling better than when I came in. Today we've got our resistance band or a pair of tights. Um, Susan here is going to do the exercises without any of this resistance. But if you want to, again, resistance band or a pair of tights. We're going to just Take those shoulders back and down, sit nice and tall in the chair and pull that foot up. Pull your band up for that little bit of resistance and then just push the heel down to the floor and lift. So keep your band nice and tight, just push up and down. How are we doing, okay? Brilliant, can you feel that resistance? Great. Just two more. And we've done. Shall we swap to the other side? We're gonna place the band, or my tights, under the other foot, nice and tall, shoulders back and down. Okay, we've got that little bit of resistance, so we lift and then just push down. So if you haven't got the band, just feel as if you're pushing that air down. So make it a deliberate lift and a big push down. We've got two more in us. Here we go, one, last one. Brilliant job, well done. Our exercise today is about flexibility and strength in our lower body. I've got a pair of tights that I've took out of my cupboard. Helen is using the resistance band and Susan hasn't got any resistance. So choose what you want to do, rest when you need to rest. So for this exercise, we're gonna lift the foot up off the floor. You're gonna tighten your band and extend your leg and then bring it back down. Okay, so this is working those big muscles in those legs. Just remember to sit nice and tall because that's gonna help that posture as well. So can you feel that push? Yes. Yeah, it's working a little bit harder if you've got that little bit of resistance. Let's do one more this side and then we're going to swap to the other side. So we'll take that band, put it under the other foot. Again, remember when you have your band, don't wrap it round because you might stop the circulation in your hands. So just keep it loose and hold it just in front of you. Are we ready to go the other side? Okay, let's lift, extend. That's great work. Just another few this side. Let's not forget to sit nice and tall. Excellent, let's make this that last one. Push out, bring back, oh, release back down, well done. Today we've got doing an exercise, it's a rowing exercise. The resistance band is under the center of the foot, so make sure you've got that uh, good connection there. So we're gonna sit nice and tall, bands in the hand, don't wrap the band around those hands. We're just gonna lift those elbows up to the side and release back down. Brilliant. And that's working that upper body. So it's through those shoulders, those arms. That's great work. Make sure you keep nice and tall in that chair. And we feel that in those shoulders. Yep. Just one more. And give yourselves a little shake. Well done. Thank you so much to Liz for those exercises there. Now she's got a couple more for us. Let's go back to her. And this was Tuesday's episode. Welcome everybody. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of a pulse raiser. So we'll get those heart and lungs working. And that's just gonna help us with our everyday activities so that we can keep going for longer. 
So if we're ready, you can either follow the seated version with Janet here, or you can uh, get out of your chair and join in with me stood up. So if we just shuffle towards the um, front of the chair a little bit, perfect. If you need to sit back, just sit back. That's absolutely fine as well. Okay, so let's just start a little bit of a, a march. That's it, let's bring those arms in. And just sit nice and tall so we've got a good posture. Excellent. Okay, are we all right now? Just to lift one knee and then the other knee. That's great. Again, just make this as big or as small as you like. Bringing that opposite hand across the opposite knee. And let's go back to that march. Bringing those arms, you can make those arms a little bit bigger, bigger swing if you like. And then are we okay to lift that knee again? Opposite hand reaches across if you can. Just leave the arms out if you want to. All right, now let's just tap one foot out to the side and then the other foot out to the side. Brilliant. We okay to bring these arms up, again with or without those arms, and then take the arms out to the side. That's great. Again, drop the arms if they're getting tired. Just keep going with those legs. And let's take it back to that march. So we're going right back to the beginning. March it through, sit tall, stand tall. Excellent. Are we ready? Knee lifts. Opposite hand reaches across. That's looking great. And can we bring in that side step? Okay, so reach out to the side. Fantastic. Oof, getting warm now. And then we'll take it back to that march. Excellent. Feeling a little bit warmer. And we'll dig your heels out in front. So alternate heels. And if we can, both arms push forward. And back to that march. All right, let's do those knee lifts again. Last time for these. Opposite hand reaches across to that knee. Are we ready for that step to the side? Here we go. Step it out again, with or without those arms. And let's just take it to those heel digs. Push the arms out in front if you can. And take it to that march. Woo. Let's do four more. Three, two, one. Oh, excellent job, well done. Thank you so much to Liz there. That was fantastic, those moves. And do remember, obviously, you can fit these in at any point throughout your day. They're only a couple of minutes long, so it's really easy while you're boiling the kettle or even the ads are on. And always have that balance nearby as well if you need it. Right, let's go over to Sue, who's in Sedgefield. exercise A because it's good for me and B because we have such a good laugh. I did undergo a period when I was frightened of falling that the exercises that we do help towards that. It's, it's essentially, in my case, it's essentially balance. Hello, I'm Sue. We're back in Sedgefield Parish Hall and we're going to try some balance moves today. I'm just going to ask you to stand with feet hip distance apart. Lengthening up, so we still want to think about that posture, so tummy muscles in and really lengthening up as if you were being pulled through the top of your head towards the ceiling. Hands on the chair and then all I'm going to ask you to do is raise the heels up and then slowly lower them back down. 
And again, that's it. So we're just doing a raise of the heels and then lowering them back down. Yeah, so just bringing those heels up. And this is the sort of thing you might find that it's something you can do in the kitchen, holding onto a kitchen unit while boiling the kettle, making a drink. Just factor it into the day a little bit, different times of day, and then down. So any move is good. Even if it's just a couple of times, it's still great. And down. And again, we're just lifting up and then just rest it down. And then just have a little march through just to release that off a little. So another balance move that we do quite often in class is to bring the feet together and I'm just bringing one foot in front of the other, directly in front. Then we try and challenge that a little bit. So you can either hold with both hands or you could just hover your hands above the chair or even go to a fingertip and see if we can take the hands away, see if we can hold it steady. Yeah. And then just maybe lightly hold the chair again while we bring the feet back together and swap feet. So heel to toe, brilliant. And then maybe we can just release the grip on the chair just a little bit. Ooh, see if we can hold without. Maybe, maybe not. It might happen, it might not. And just hold that steady. And brilliant. Bring the feet back together. So can we go, <laughs> we're doing this brilliant. Let's go heel to toe again. This time, we got it. Can you raise the heels in that heel to toe? I need to hold on. Oh, let go, maybe just. And then lower it back down. Perfect. And then bring the feet back together. Should we try that on the other side? Heel to toe. Yeah. Are we ready? Should we try and have, get that heel raise? Well done. Well done. And then coming up. You might need to hold on. You might be okay without. See how it feels. And then lower it down. Bring the feet back to hip width. And again, just have a little release. March it through. Then, from there, let's just bring one foot slightly forward. Can you just lift that foot up? How about bending the knee and coming into a single knee raise? Again, light hold and then lower down. And we'll just do that on the other side. So just bringing that foot forward, light hold with fingertips, little foot raise or into a knee lift if you can. And then can you let go? And then slowly, slowly lower that down and again, just have a little march through the feet. And thank you, ladies. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much to Sue and her lovely ladies there over in Sedgefield Parish Hall. Right, we're headed over to Beamish, which is where I am now. We're meeting up with Deborah and her team for Thursday's episode that was in the Welfare Hall. It makes me feel as if I'm, I'm a person, not just a thing. Gives me independence and um, it cheers me up. So today we're going to be basing our exercises on housework and particularly some of the things that they would have done in the past. So because we're Beamish, again, we're going to choose some um, exercises that maybe people would have, would have done in the past. So we've got three of us demonstrating the exercises standing up and two sitting down. Now the first exercise that we're going to do is we're going to pretend we're washing the windows. So try and get your balance nice and steady if you're standing up, both feet flat on the floor. Pretend you've got a cloth in one hand and we're just going to wash those windows. So we're just going to make nice little circles with one hand. Excellent. And then we'll swap hands. We're going to wash the windows in the other direction. So just nice little ones to begin with. Okay, let's swap again. Now this time let's go a little bit bigger. So we're going to reach right up to the top of those windows nice and shiny make sure we can see outside okay and the other one that's fantastic and don't forget the corners so we need to get right into the corners make a big square one two three four other side get into those corners go right across the edges of those windows and one more time on each hand up we go round, round to the corners and one more time on the left Excellent, okay, we've done the windows. We're gonna do the floor now. Grab your scrubbing brushes. Again, 
Think about the balance, get your feet nice and sturdy, and we're just gonna scrub forward and back, and forward and back. Okay, be careful with your back, not too low. Make sure nothing's hurting. Just nice and steady, forward and back. Let's do two more of those. Really stretch out those arms so you can feel that across the shoulders. Okay, and feet back together. Let's get the balance again. We've done the inside work. We're gonna do the outside work now. We're gonna dig the garden. So again, nice and sturdy with the feet. Grab your shovel in one hand, and we're gonna dig the garden. And you're gonna get a garden because I'm gonna chuck this over my shoulder. Are you ready? There we go. Dig and over the shoulder. Dig and over the shoulder. Let's do two more on that side. Excellent, one more. And change hands. Okay, get your balance ready again. Get your shovel and dig and throw it over the shoulder. You're getting in the face this time, George. <laughs> Let's do two more. Fantastic. Okay, so we're still in the garden. We've dug, we've dug the garden up. We're gonna pull the weeds out now. So can we take our feet wide for balance? Okay, make sure you've got that balance first. And right down in front of you, we're gonna imagine we've got some really big weeds. So we're just gonna use one hand, bend those knees slightly, reach right down, and just give it a big pull and pull those weeds up. Other hand, bend the knees as we go down. Now be careful not to let those knees go over the toes and pull again, bend down and pull, that's it, excellent. Try and use the knees so it's not all in the back. There we go, let's do two more. Reach down and pull, reach down and pull. And the final exercise that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the mangle. So you're gonna take hold of that handle with one hand and the clothes with the other and we're just gonna move that around and around and around and I know in reality you wouldn't swap hands, but for the purposes of this exercise, we're gonna make sure we do the other hand as well. So now we're using the left-handed one. Take it round and round. There we go. And stop. And that's it for this week's Omnibus. Well done if you managed to follow along on all those exercises. A great variety there, but don't worry if you didn't. You've got lots of time to build up to that over the next couple of months. Now that's all for this week. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. <laughs>